All right, so this video is going to be a lot different than my other videos. I'm not my happy, usual self. Honestly, it took a lot going back and reliving this story. But without further ado, this is the video you guys have been asking for. Hi, guys. Um, for you guys who don't know me, I am Kate Larson. I'm just a small YouTuber um, who just loves making funny content and acting and music and all that different stuff. But recently I posted a video that went viral. The video hinted at a dolphin attack that I had when I was younger and I didn't go into full detail and I honestly really didn't expect the video to blow up but it did and a lot of people were expecting an explanation so that's what this video is about. Honestly it might sound a little silly but it was very traumatic because I was so young and I had never heard of anyone going through a similar experience to what I went through and what I experienced so with that being stated I'm kind of going to dive into this whole story. How it all started is it was right before COVID. It was 2020. And at the time I was 14. And my friend was wanting to celebrate her 16th birthday party. So we went down to the Keys. And I have never been down to the Keys and I was very excited. We had a great two days um, just enjoying the island. It came to like the day before we left. And we decided that we wanted to go swimming with the dolphins. And... I've, I've swam with dolphins before. I've actually done the experience twice. This, I think, was the first time I was able to, like, I was old enough to officially participate in, like, the activities that you get to do with the dolphins. So I was very excited. I love dolphins. I had always been told that they were really sweet, and I thought their demeanor was close to a horse. So they were always animals that I didn't know could be aggressive and that I thought were just very docile. So going into the experience, I was ecstatic. So our moms weren't able to be with us because they didn't sign up for the experience also. So us girls were really excited. We put on our wetsuits. We walked out onto the dock and got into the water where there were three handlers ready. And they had other people in the group and they told us that the dolphin we had was very playful. So all of us girls were really excited. We were just laughing and having fun and enjoying it. And once we're in the water, we're like doing some tricks and just a lot of fun stuff. And honestly, it was just like every other experience I had been through with dolphins. And I absolutely loved it until we got to the part where everyone's swimming with the dolphins and how they have one person go at a time and they have you swim out and the dolphin will loop around you and pull you in shore. So everyone went, um, had a great experience. The dolphin never acted up until it got to me. I was the last person and the handlers, the handlers told me to swim out into the middle of the tank. So I did. And immediately, I don't know if I sensed something was wrong, but something just didn't feel right. And the trainer summons the dolphin to leave and to swoop around me and pull me in. And I'm just floating in the water and it's kind of delayed. So I'm starting to think something's going on and I hear all the handlers yelling and like, bring it back in, bring it back in. And they're blowing their whistle. And they're like, you're okay, you look whatever. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, something really just doesn't feel right. I don't know what's happening. They're like, we don't see the dolphin. Why isn't it coming back in? We're calling it back in. It's acting up. Guys, pull it back in. Um, and it still would not be responding. Like, I don't know why I looked down in that instance, but I was kind of wanting to locate the dolphin and see if it was around me because I, I just, I, I didn't know where it was. Um, and the trainers were going frantic. And so I looked down and right when I look down, I see the dolphin and it takes hold of my calf and it bites me. So honestly, I was really frightened because first and for all, I've never experienced anything like that. And it really wasn't necessarily the dolphin biting me that was the scariest part. It was not knowing what I was supposed to do. So immediately after it bit me, I screamed. I was like, it bit me. And the handlers are now, you know, being concerned before, but they were really concerned now. And so they start trying to call it in and the dolphin is still acting up. So 
I'm sitting there in the tank and I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to swim in. I don't know if it's like trying to attack me. I just had never experienced something like that. So eventually they get a hold of the dolphin and they push it into one of the other tanks and they signal for me to swim back. And as I'm swimming, I was, I was honestly in shock, like half hurt because, um, and I was honestly concerned that I was bleeding. They, they got me out of the water to examine what had happened and I did not have, I actually have a picture. I have a picture that they took once I got out of the water of the dolphin bite. Thank the Lord it was not bleeding. But the next day I was, I was just bruised. I didn't take any pictures of that because I honestly just still was in shock and honestly I really did not want to remember it. When you have an expectation of how something's going to go and it goes extremely wrong, it kind of ruins it for you and and I, I I just I'm like I don't ever want to swim with a dolphin again I I just I don't and this is the part that makes me the most aggravated once I got out of the water the trainers told me well this has happened before and I said excuse me they go yeah this dolphin has been has bitten before because he's playful I go I'm like that so you're telling me you let me get into the water with a dolphin who has bitten other people like I grew up with horses and if you confine them to a stall for too long they go stall crazy um and so that's why we always made sure that our horses they had room to, to run and to have fun and like so for me to hear that the dolphin had that type of attitude it means that the place was not taking care of their dolphins and they were not taking care of the people swimming with the dolphins so for them to jeopardize my safety in that way was the thing that upset me most. What happened next is absolutely outrageous and unreal. They didn't let me talk to my mom. And before they allowed her to talk to me, they pulled her into a room and they said, hey, there's some paperwork we forgot to get you to sign. And we just need to let you know the dolphin was a little extra play playful today and um yeah we, we seen you sign this document they so my mom signed it not knowing that it was this it was a document saying that i would not sue so first and for all you have a 14 year old girl getting out of the water who is petrified who is fearful who just got basically attacked by a dolphin you don't offer her her money back you let her get into the tank with a dolphin who's bit multiple people and then to top off the day, the only thing you give her is a sticker with the dolphin's name on it that bit her. I'm not upset about the dolphin biting me. What I'm upset about is these people mistreating the dolphin and not seeing that it was sending signs that it was unhappy. And not taking care of that and letting people swim with it. Like they were not made to be confined. I'm like, if they are that unhappy, you need to take action. So that's my dolphin experience. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will try to get to as many as I can. Thank you again for watching this and for joining this journey. If you've been here since the beginning, uh, I appreciate you. If you're new, I'm so excited um, just to get to know you and to I'm so thankful that you're a part of this community. Um, I hope you can learn from this video. And I hope that we, I don't know, maybe more awareness can be raised that, you know, animals are animals and they should not be treated as toys. Thank you guys. I ser it seriously means so much to me. Thank you for watching. And I hope I answered all your questions and I really was blown away by all the support I've gotten. And please know that I'm not taking it for granted and it has meant so much to me. I'm so excited. When I first started this YouTube journey, I really didn't think it was gonna go anywhere and just seeing the love and the support that I've received and just how many people have enjoyed some of the funny videos, it just makes my day so much brighter. So I'm excited to be making more content like that and to be continuing this journey and hopefully to keep you guys entertained with some really, really cool stuff. So. Thank you for watching and yeah, until next time.